Hello guys, this is Maple Border 78 and it is project time. I'm working on my daughter's Razor Pocket Mod. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because the stock throttle uh, that it comes with is just an on-off switch. So, and it's really hard to turn. This one here is from her uh, Razor 500 Quad and this one is much easier to turn and it's linear. So you can slowly take off and then floor it. Uh, because of that, we have to upgrade the speed controller. This is the stock speed controller, it's 24 volts. And this is the one from the Razer 500 Quad. This one is for 36 volts. So you can see the size difference here. It's just much bigger. And um, we're uh, just switching it out. Everything seems to be plug and play. I don't have to cut any wires or solder anything, which is good. Uh, we're using um, a 6S battery and a 4S battery in series, uh, lithium batteries, to power this. So I'll keep you updated. Mounting up the speed controller here, buttoning all back together. Uh, one of the mounts works on this side, but unfortunately, because the mounting points are different, this has nothing to go into. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole through here, and then I'm gonna use a machine screw and put that right through there into the frame to hold that on on that side. And then we'll have both sides secured. I decided to put a couple small wood spacers in there for the empty space between the frame and the speed controller. Hooking up the last plug wires here. Fast forward, uh, went six miles, motor burnt out. So <laughs> ordered a new motor, 36 volt instead of the stock 24 volt, and we'll get it bolted up in here. But uh, we're taking it out now. All right, so we have stock motor that burned out, 24 volt, and this is the new uh, 36 volt, 800 watt motor. You can see uh, a little bit bigger there. And can size is enormous. We'll see how we can get this thing fit in there. This thing is massive. It is gonna barely fit in there. Yeah. So it's true what they say on the forums. Um, man, that's giant. It will not. We will not have overheating problems. So instead of um, what a lot of people do on the forums is they'll they'll beat this tube in. Uh, to make room for the motor because it needs to sit lower. I'm gonna let it sit higher and uh, I got some fab skills and uh, I think I'm just going to make some spacers to use uh, between the motor mount and the frame. Now because this is gonna run on 36 volts and not 24 anymore, I no longer need the plate here that holds the two 12 volt batteries in series. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and that's gonna make installation of the motor a lot easier. That'll make it much more room to get in there. I ended up taking two pieces of plywood and making my own um, motor mount. So this is gonna come over here and uh, it's gonna set right in here. Um, this will bolt to the frame and then the motor will bolt to uh, this motor mount. Uh, motor mount bolted on. Uh, there was six uh, holes here, so we put six screws through here holding it on. And then on top here, you have the motor mount plate and we will screw um, our motor to that. Now I'm just bolting the motor to the motor plate. All done. Made a wooden motor mount out of that nice plywood that I bought. Pretty cool. Worked out well. All 
we're slowly putting this back together, all the plastics on. Uh, motors mounted in there on the motor mount and we are just waiting for the electronic speed control to mount here that's coming in the mail today. Alright guys we're just about ready to take this thing for a spin. Uh, the mail lady just brought the new ESC. Uh, the old one pooped out for some reason not sure because we were using the stock 24 volt motor with it. Motor burned out and uh, I guess the ESC burnt out too not sure what went wrong there but we have the ESC in there we got the new motor in there the 36 volt 800 watt motor this is a 36 volt controller meant for razor scooters and uh, we'll get this thing running all right moment of truth here um, God has really been helping us and giving us wisdom on this whole build and we're so thankful he's been with us and allowed us to do this so we drilled some holes here to let the ESC get a little more air in case it gets warm. But um, we're going to plug this in and go for it. Let's plug it in for the first time. Got it. Okay. All right, Faye, it works. Yeah. Let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a helmet on and I'm going to see what the top speed is in this thing. So here we go. Wow, so that was really good. 19.7 uh, miles per hour was the top speed uh, going a little bit downhill. Thanks everybody for watching the video. Uh, for more content like this, please subscribe to our channel. The motor and ESC combo worked out great. Um, that My 1020 motor was $65 on uh, uh, eBay and uh, worked really well. Top speed of the moped's about 20 miles an hour. Uh, so it is powered by two uh, LiPo batteries. These are actually meant for uh, RC cars or uh, RC helicopters. Um, this is a 6S uh, LiPo 8 amp hour. This is a 4S LiPo 8 amp hour. Um, I'm running them together in series to power the 36 volt system. Uh, together, I think they're about 42 volts and the system uh, is completely fine with it. It's been working great. If you are gonna run LiPo batteries, make sure that you have a low voltage alarm on the balance plugs so that you don't run them too low or you can damage them. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!